And I first thought for myself, like, oh my God, like, I've done the spiritual work, I've forgiven, I worked through the forgiveness. And what I realized was I need to go back into that and go back into a way of allowing this feeling of betrayal to show up. Hey everyone, my name is Del, and I am the True Essence Connector. I help individuals to go from the inner conflict that we all have within our mind to a place of inner peace and to be able to integrate that peaceful state into everything in our life. I wanted to talk today about betrayal. Raise your hand if you experience some sort of betrayal in your life. I want to tell a story and it's something that happened over the weekend in which I was in a space with some powerful brothers and we were healing together. But in this space, what happened was I got a powerful question asked to me and also was told to lean in fully and allow whatever shows up to talk about it and bring it out loud. And I was being supported by a brother who just held a non-judgmental space for me to be able to share that. And I shared that I felt betrayed. And when I leaned into that, of the feeling of betrayal, I was sharing all these stories that I had in my life, experiences that I had of what I felt was I got betrayed. Betrayed in the aspect of someone spreading rumors about me, betrayal in which somebody shared some of my deepest secrets that I shared with them and they shared it with somebody else in a judgmental type of way. Betrayal in the aspects of what I felt that people were talking about me behind my back and would show up to me in a different way. And I was like, okay, I'm really leaning into that. And I first thought for myself, like, oh my God, like, I've done the spiritual work, I have forgiven, I worked through the forgiveness. And what I realized was I need to go back into that and go back into a way of just allowing this feeling of betrayal to show up. And I shared this before in videos before in which a powerful thing is instead of saying, I'm feeling this way because of this situation or I'm feeling this way because of what this person did or what this thing happened. Just acknowledge that you feel this emotion. So once I was able to share those things out loud for all these scenarios that I felt that I got betrayed from relationships, friendships, whatever. And I just said, I feel betrayed. And I honored that space that I was feeling betrayed. And I told myself, I am allowed to feel betrayal within myself. It is okay. Now, here's where shit got real even more. I came to this awareness in which the deepest betrayal of what was going on was the fact that I was betraying myself. Hmm. The way that I was betraying myself was I wasn't allowing myself to feel the way that these parts of me were feeling. I was betraying this part of myself from my childhood that felt emotions from what happened and I didn't allow it the space to feel its emotions. It felt rejected. I felt rejected. I gave the illusion that these other people rejected me, but the deepest rooted rejection of what was happening was I was rejecting myself. The betrayal for myself for not allowing myself the full permission to unleash my full potential. The betrayal for myself for not being able to serve myself and help to serve others the way that I know that I could. And once I acknowledged that part of me and I said, it's okay to feel betrayal, tears started rolling down my face of just uncontrollable crying that led to laughter. 
that led to me just bringing awareness to just how much a burden that I had on myself and feel like I betrayed myself for not allowing myself to be myself. Why? Because I allowed other people's labels to determine how I was in this moment compared to me just allowing myself to be how I am fully in this present moment. I allowed myself to feel the betrayal. I allowed myself to feel the judgment that I had for my journey to where I am right now, in which I had a fear that if I allow myself to show my full potential, I can potentially be judged based upon something that I have done before in the past. Sounds familiar? Have you limited yourself before in which you feel that you're the same person as you were before compared to right now? We all give ourselves lessons, not only for ourselves, but for others. And the beauty of being able to see things from a space of unconditional love and allowing yourself to feel however you truly felt in those moments, it allows you to start to see these nuggets of yourself to reintegrate those child parts of yourself that was hurt in moments, or even the person as an adult or teenager from these moments that was hurt and allow yourself to be heard, allow yourself to be seen, allow yourself to be loved, allow yourself to be accepted for however you're feeling. And I felt the need of sharing this because there's a lot of people out there that I know this resonates with and which we've been a lot, we've been betraying ourselves from allowing ourselves to really feel how we feel in the moment and to be okay with that. So here's a little exercise for you to potentially do if you're open to it. Next time an emotion comes up in which you had this emotion and you try to run away from it or try to stop yourself from really allowing yourself to feel that emotion, give yourself permission to feel that part of you. Give yourself the, the permission to feel whatever emotion it is and allow it to show up. Allow that part of yourself that's been screaming to be heard from these emotions, to be loved, to be accepted, to be heard, to be seen, to be acknowledged and see what happens from there. And if this video of what I share with this message resonates with you, and you know it could resonate with somebody else who may need this right now, feel free to share, feel free to leave a comment, feel free to like it. But thank you so much for connecting with me. And like always, stay connected.